a fan asked a very interesting question. What would happen if Jupiter became our sun? It's a fascinating idea, so let's explore it and see what would happen to Earth. We go to the solar system, select the sun, and replace it with Jupiter. Then we speed up time. The sun's mass makes up 99.86% of the entire solar system. Jupiter's mass is only about one thousandth of the sun's. Although it's huge in size, it produces almost no energy. This means Jupiter cannot maintain the gravitational pull of the whole solar system. As a result, Earth's orbit immediately becomes unstable. It won't slowly fall toward Jupiter. Instead, it will be flung along its original tangent, turning from a stable planet into a wandering rogue planet. At the same time, Earth loses almost all its energy supply. At a distance of about 93 million miles, Earth normally receives roughly 165 foot-pounds per second per square foot of solar radiation, keeping its temperature and climate stable. Jupiter emits almost no light or energy, so radiation drops to nearly zero. Within a few days, the temperature difference between day and night disappears. Within a few weeks, the average temperature drops below 32 degrees F. Within a few months, the surface of the oceans begins to freeze. Within years to decades, the oceans freeze into hundreds of feet of solid ice. Other planets experience similar fates. Mercury and Venus, which orbit close to the Sun at high speeds, now lose the gravitational pull holding them in place. They are flung along their tangent paths into deep space, and their orbits completely break down. Mars and the more distant planets, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, also have their orbits severely disrupted due to insufficient gravity. The asteroid belt disintegrates, with countless small bodies scattered inward or outward, and the entire solar system falls into chaos. The only remaining source of heat is Earth's internal radioactive decay. It produces less than 0.01 foot-pounds per second per square foot, far too little to maintain liquid water. However, some life may survive in extreme environments deep in the oceans or underground. Want to see more experiments like this? Like, follow, and comment below. Tell me what you want to explore next, and I'll make it happen in the next video.